With Chris Rock having destroyed Will Smith within his new special, as well as calling out Jada, that hasn't been all as he also went after Meghan Markle herself, and Meghan has been catching flack from all over the public's eyes to even shows, having South Park doing an episode based off the couple and them wanting privacy, which is ironic because all they ever seem to do is be in the public's eyes and complain about themselves and how hard their life is, which is what the episode is based off of. And now with Chris Rock's new Netflix special, Selective Outrage, he's taking shots at Meghan, and we'll get to a clip here very soon. And before Chris Chris gets into the Meghan Markle skit, he slowly eases into it, essentially saying this, Right now, we live in a world where the emergency room is filled with mother efforts with paper cuts, he said. And he's talking about how everyone is playing a victim in today's society, and that the people that need help are the ones that are true victims are not getting that help that they need. He also goes in how people are just attention seeking and will do whatever it takes to get likes on social media, which is what we've been seeing with Meghan Markle here herself. As we get into the clip. Back to the show, everybody. Trying to be a victim. Like, what was this girl? Uh, Meghan Markle. Oh, seemed like a nice lady. And there it is, which is what I was talking about earlier with Megan continuously playing the victim card and that she has a rough life, meanwhile, living in her multi million dollar home, which doesn't make sense one bit. Just complaining. I was like, did she hit the light skin lottery? <laughs> hit the fucking light skin lottery. It's still going off complaining. Exactly, and that's the thing that many people would kill to have what Megan has, but yet it seems that Megan herself is still not happy with what she has or has gotten. Acting all dumb like she don't know nothing. Going on Oprah, I didn't know. I had no idea how racist they were. It's the royal family. You didn't Google God. this mother <laughs> If you look at history and just see the crap that the royals have done, you will see that they aren't the warm-hearted individuals that many seem to think they are. It's almost as if she was thinking of the lifestyle to be something out of a princess novel. <laughs> what the f*** is she talking about? She didn't know. The f*** is the royal family. They're the original racists. God. They invented colonialism. <laughs> Someone must have not been reading their history books back in class, which wouldn't be surprising as most cases when you were born into a privileged family, sometimes you tend to lack some knowledge, especially when it comes to history. <laughs> They're the OGs of racism. They're the Sugar Hill Gang of racism. <laughs> like the hip hop, the hip hip, the hip hip, the hip hip, the hip hop, and the don't stop of racism. He is just baffled as the rest of the world is when it comes to Megan because of how much stupid moves that she's been doing and making and also just seeming to lack knowledge as most individuals in this world tend to have. She just seems to be lacking that, which is just sad to see. I didn't know. That's like marrying into the Budweiser family and going, they drink a lot. <laughs> Exactly. I think with Megan, she thinks the world is made of sunshine and rainbows, and when it comes to experiencing the more darker side of humans, she gets surprised because of that. I skipped ahead just a little bit, and he essentially, with the part that I just skipped, said that Megan experienced some in-law stuff and not racism, as we continue on with the clip. Because she's complaining, I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? The developer, they're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby was going to be. They're so racist, they want to know how brown the baby's gonna be. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and that essentially is the meat and potatoes of this whole Meghan Markle stand-up special when it comes to Chris Rock performing it. And this was a thing that Meghan Markle was concerned over, and that being her baby's skin color, as she revealed her concerns in an Oprah interview, which Oprah was shocked. And Meghan is smart. She knew that she was going to be getting headlines and articles being written about her. And when Oprah asked her if she could reveal which royal asked Meghan for it, to which essentially she would say no, that she can't say. And that began the whole racist argument, and Prince Harry was shocked that Meghan said that, as he knew nothing about it. To which you fast forward to present date, we have Harry saying that he denied calling the royal family racist and defending Meghan Markle, saying that she didn't call the family racist, but rather it was unconscious bias that took hold of her, which is similar to racism, which makes no damn sense. At least when you say something, stick to your words and don't make crap up to cover your ass and change the narrative, which is what we have been seeing countless of times when it comes to Harry and Meghan, saying that they want to be removed from the public's interest around themselves, even though they've continued to partake in public engagements via interviews spotlights or talk shows and whatever else it may be 
And that brings things full circle. You've had a show, South Park, go after the couple. You've had Chris Rock go after Megan. And you're also having the public going after the both of them. And what I find to be ironic is that Netflix had a documentary series on Harry and Meghan in which it was received poorly amongst audiences and critics. And then you have Netflix producing an exclusive stand-up in which Chris Rock rips into Meghan Markle. It's just ironic and it's fan freaking tastic And I recommend you all, if you haven't seen the special, to go and check it out. As most of his takes are pretty valid and I think many would also agree to them. And I wouldn't be surprised if Meghan once again has some sort of negative reaction to Chris Rock's takes on her, just as she did with South Park. And at the end of the day, these are just jokes and nothing more but that and i also can't wait to see if netflix releases the viewership numbers for it because this has to be breaking records people are waiting to see chris rock's response to the whole will smith slap situation and they got just that and with all of that let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share i'll catch you all in the next one Bye bye